Scientists have made remarkable new discoveries about the similarities between Venus and Earth, which are often referred to as sister planets due to their likeness. These findings illuminate the enigmatic world of Venus, a planet shrouded in clouds, and deepen our understanding of planetary formation and transformation. In this video, we'll delve into these groundbreaking discoveries, explore the methods scientists use to study these planets, and discuss the potential for exploring habitable worlds. So, without further ado, let's get started. Venus, covered with thick clouds and enduring surface temperatures that could melt lead, presents a landscape both alien and strikingly familiar. Our focus is drawn to Ishtar Terra, one of Venus's largest highland regions, offering profound insights into the planet's geological characteristics. Ishtar Terra is not merely a planetary feature, it is a key to understanding Venus's dynamic past, showcasing the massive Maxwell Montes, which are about 11 kilometers high, surpassing Earth's Mount Everest in sheer elevation. Exploring further into Ishtar Terra, we find Lakshmi Planum, a vast plateau covering 2 million square kilometers and standing about 4 kilometers high. This plateau is surrounded by highly uneven terrain and is known for its smooth lava flows. It also hosts two large shield volcanoes, Colette Patera, which measures about 130 kilometers across, and Sacagawea Patera, which is about 200 kilometers wide and one, two kilometers deep. Although Venus does not have active plate tectonics now, the ancient forces that once shaped this area have created a wildly rugged landscape, similar to some of the dramatic geological features seen on Earth. The complex terrain of Venus is made even more evident by the wide plains and rough plateaus across Ishtar Terra. These landforms are similar to Earth's oldest continental areas, called cratons, which have survived erosion and tectonic changes for billions of years. Interestingly, even though Venus does not currently have plate tectonics, which is a key process in Earth's geology, the similar features suggest that Venus may have once experienced active geological forces similar to those in the early history of Earth. These groundbreaking findings are supported by the recent study published in Nature Geoscience, where researchers explored the intricate geological structure of Venus. The study of cratons, the ancient stable parts of Earth's lithosphere, is crucial in understanding our planet's geological stability and history. Venus appears to share this feature with Earth, suggesting a new layer of similarity between the two planets that extends beyond superficial characteristics to their very structural bones. Cratons on Earth are significant because they are composed of ancient, extremely durable basement rock with deep roots extending several hundred kilometers into the Earth's mantle. They are typically found at the heart of the planet's continental plates, having survived extensive geological processes like rifting and merging since the Precambrian era. The research led by Fabio Capitanio of Monash University utilizes data from NASA's Magellan spacecraft and high-performance computer simulations to propose that regions like Ishtar Terra on Venus might have formed through similar processes as Earth's cratons. This revolutionary idea that Venus might have once had its own craton-like regions, stable and enduring through eons, challenges the long-held view that such features are exclusive to tectonically active planets. It suggests that even without plate tectonics, Venus experienced continent-like geological stability that could be analogous to Earth's geological epochs. This insight into Venus's crustal dynamics provides a new perspective on how rocky planets evolve without plate tectonics. It suggests that the thick, stable areas of Venus have not been significantly altered by internal or external forces for an extended period, offering a unique comparative model against which we can measure Earth's own geological evolution. Such comparative planetology could unlock answers to fundamental questions about the conditions necessary for plate tectonics and the role these processes have played in making Earth habitable. As we explore the cosmos, our search for Earth-like exoplanets not only sparks our curiosity, but also helps us better understand our own solar system. This search uses specific criteria to define what makes a planet similar to Earth. These criteria are underscored by our study of Venus's geological features. An Earth-like planet, by definition, shares several key characteristics with Earth. These include a similar size and mass, 
ensuring the planet is rocky and neither too small, like Mercury, nor too giant, like Jupiter. These planets must orbit within the habitable zone of their stars, where conditions allow for liquid water. The composition of these planets is primarily silicate rocks, and they typically have an atmosphere rich in nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, which plays a crucial role in regulating temperature and protecting against harmful radiation. Further, these planets are expected to possess significant bodies of liquid water, a strong magnetic field to shield against solar radiation, and a reasonable rotation rate and axial tilt to foster stable seasons and climates. Plate tectonics, a feature believed to drive geological activity and maintain a planet's climate stability, is also a key characteristic, along with a diverse mix of continents and oceans to support biodiversity. Our search for Earth-like exoplanets has revealed several intriguing candidates. Gliese 667 CC, for instance, orbits a red dwarf within the habitable zone. Despite the potential for disruptive flares from its star, its considerable mass, at least 4.5 times that of Earth, suggests it could have a strong gravitational pull capable of sustaining a dense atmosphere. Another promising candidate is Kepler 22b, which orbits a G-class star similar to our Sun and resides within the habitable zone. Its size, about 2.4 times that of Earth, could mean it has an extended atmosphere or a larger capacity to hold potential water bodies. Kepler 69c, with an orbital period similar to Venus, also shows potential for Earth-like qualities, although its composition remains less certain. This adds an element of intrigue to its status as a potentially habitable planet. Additional noteworthy planets include Kepler 438b and Kepler 442b, both of which score highly on the Earth Similarity Index. This index measures how closely planets resemble Earth in terms of their environmental and physical characteristics. Understanding Venus's past through its craton-like features and thick, stable crust provides a unique comparative model to these exoplanets. Venus's geological story helps refine the criteria we use to evaluate the habitability of other worlds. The parallels observed in the formation of Venus's and Earth's crusts suggest that similar processes might occur on other planets, even those lacking active plate tectonics. The upcoming missions to Venus, including NASA's Da Vinci, ESA's Envision, and NASA's Veritas, promise deeper insights. These missions will explore Venus's atmosphere, surface composition, and geological history, providing data crucial for refining our models of how terrestrial planets evolve. Thus, the dialogue between Earth, its sister Venus, and the distant worlds orbiting other stars continues to evolve. Each study and mission bringing us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Thank you for watching. We hope you found this exploration into Venus's Earth-like features as fascinating as we do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more updates. Share your thoughts in the comments below.